What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Lakers jersey swap that I did on Giannis. So obviously if any of you guys are basketball fans you'll know that he won the um, the NBA championship this year. So I just wanted to do a little graphic showing you know what it would be like if he went to the Lakers, you know how he would fit. Um, and yeah basically that's it. So a lot of you guys enjoyed the previous swap that I did. So obviously that was a Man City one um, and the day after then Cristiano went straight to Man, City, uh, Man United. That one came out at a really good time because everyone was commenting oh, a bit late and all this stuff and wrong wrong kit and everything but you know we got quite a lot of views on it you guys obviously learned the uh, whole idea of it because even though it was just a man city top you can change it and do it with any kit you like so yeah that was basically what happened with that one so hopefully you enjoyed this one as well just as much similar principles we'll be using a bit of warp and a bit of the clone stamp tool and yeah that's basically it guys so i'll stop rambling now so um yeah let's get straight into it So first things first, you want to go into need to download this uh, texture pack that I've got. Um, it's just going to have a load of assets in that we're going to use to create this new top. So you can turn that off for now. Uh, and once you've downloaded that, you're going to need to make a new document. So new document, and we're going to make this 1080 by 1350. So and 300 resolution. This will be perfect for Instagram, right? So it'll be perfect size and everything. So we're just going to create that now. So first things first, we're going to get this uh, image. Obviously, we're going to need an image that would help. Um, the image of Giannis. And we're going to drop this in. So I've already cut it out for you, so you don't really need to worry about that. Um, you can just position him in the middle like that, and you're good. So I'm just going to rasterize this and then apply this layer. So there we go. That's all good. Convert this to a smart object. And now, as you can see, there's going to be a few things that we need to get rid of. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clean clean up the jersey so we've already cut it out obviously you get a new image you're gonna have to cut it out anyway so you know I just do that and then we'll move on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out some of these bits so let's get our polygon lasso tool so select this one here um, and then what you're gonna need to do you're gonna zoom in on the layer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go around like this on all the bits that we don't want in the design and then hopefully that should just get rid of it once we use a content aware fill so let me just do this quickly now there isn't a lot to uh, actually learn with this so it's gonna be a lot of repetitive techniques so I'm probably gonna speed some of this up um, otherwise it's gonna get boring but I'll just show you for the first time how I did this one just because this one's probably the most you know the biggest thing in the design now you can be really accurate with this go in and cut out just specific bits if you want or you can just go around like I'm doing and just you know cut out the actual area that it's in so as you can see, we've got that selected now. Um, don't want to do that. Now, if you come up to your toolbar along the top here, you can see that it will just be selected on the one. If you click this double one, it will mean you can make two selections at once. So if I go around this one now and just make another selection, as you can see by the polygon lasso tool, there is a plus by it at the moment. This means that this selection that I'm making right now will be added to the design. Well, to the selection that I've already got. So. You'll see now as I finish this, close that. Now, there's two things selected. I know, it's magic. Wow, I'm so smart, aren't I? Um, <laughs> it really isn't that much of a big deal, but obviously if some of you don't know, then uh, that's probably going to help you a lot. It'll just save you a lot of time because then you won't have to do each one individually. And it, yeah, it just makes life a lot simpler. So let's get that one in there. Um, we're going to need to get rid of this Nike tick as well. Let's get rid of that and go around that like that. And there we go. Let's quickly do that. And we probably are going to need to get rid of this Harley Davidson one as well. But for now, I'm just going to quickly go around it because it probably won't look terribly accurate once you see what I'm going to do. Right, we've got all the main bits selected. As you can see, they're all the little dancing ants, as they call them. They're all running around the uh, screen. Now what we're going to do is going to go to Edit. What we are going to do is actually we're going to go Command F5, not Command F5, uh, Shift F5. So let's go Shift F5 or not okay that doesn't work either so basically um, we're gonna rasterize this let's go shift F5 okay so shift F5 you need to make sure your image is rasterized then press shift F5 and it'll come up with a fill so what you need to do is change this to content aware and uh, then you go color adaptation tick that uh, and then normal 100% and then click OK so what this should do as you can see is just fill in the gaps where the numbers were now obviously it's not terribly accurate obviously there's a little bit here with the kit that looks a bit weird but it does work so um, there are bits on here now 
that don't look right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to here and get our spot healing brush tool. And then what we're going to do is zoom in. And now we're going to sort of clean this up a little bit. So we just want to get rid of that like that. That's about it really. So you can go in to where the numbers were because obviously there's going to be a few little shadows that you might want to get rid of just to make it look a bit more normal like the black here and here. But apart from that, as you can see, the kit's pretty clean now. So we don't really need to worry too much about that anymore. The next bit we're going to need to get rid of is this bit down here on the side. So you can see where the stripes are. Obviously on the Lakers jersey they don't have this so you're going to need to get rid of that as well. So what we're going to do is create a new layer and we're going to just clipping mask this to it. And what we're going to do is get our clone stamp tool. Now, if you don't know how to use this, what you need to do is hold uh, shift on your keyboard or alt and you'll get this little target thing and you select an area which you want to take from. So I've selected that area there. And now what I'm going to do, is, actually, no, you have to make sure you're on this layer, select it. And what we're going to do is paint where that layer is. So this is why I want to do it on the new layer. So if you've got a new layer, clip it, mask it to it you won't be able to paint on the white. So what we do, we'll go in like this. We'll just start painting away that, get rid of that. And there you go, as you can see, it's gone. So again, we wanna go back to this layer, get a new selection, go back to our stripe thing, and we're just gonna paint in here. So as you can see, quite easily, we've just got rid of that. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, and now we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna come back to our image, select an area, Go back to our clipping mask and now we're just going to go along the edge and get rid of all that. Go back to our image, shift again, get a new area, get rid of this here. And then again, I'll go back to our image, select a new area and then paint it in again. There we go. Now, as you can see, guys, that is pretty much as good as you're going to get it. So we've got rid of pretty much all the stuff apart from this little Nike here. Um, but we're going to leave that there because we're going to, you know, cover that in uh, purple in a bit because they have a purple tick on the Nike logo on the um, Lakers jersey. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've made a really good good start there. So got rid of everything. That's the main thing is to clean up the jersey. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient map. So basically, the whole idea of this is you're going to have to get a hue and saturation first, um, and then we're just going to reduce the saturation to zero. So we have a nice dark canvas to work on. But obviously we're going to want to limit this to the actual jersey itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a selection around the jersey so you can go in obviously use a pen tool use whatever selection tool you want but you want to make sure you get the actual jersey you don't want to make you don't want to get the hands in there because the hands are obviously going to be a big part of you know the color that's in the design you don't want his hands to be black and white and the rest to be colored so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly select these and i'll be right back with you Okay guys, so as you can see we've made the selection and the good thing about making the selection guys is that you won't have to do it again um, simply because you'll be able to copy the layer mask that you make here. So let's just make the selection um, and then we can just sort of add a layer mask to this one. Uh, let's just delete this. Yeah, let's delete that and then make a new one like that. There we go. As you can see we've got a greyed out jersey. Lovely. So now that we've got that all made that's all nice. So you can see pretty much all the colors gone. Um, obviously, there's going to be bits that you can sort of color in, uh, which you can get your brush afterwards. And you can just go back in and get rid of it. So pretty simple. Obviously, I'm doing this quite quick because I don't want I don't want to keep you guys too long. So as long as you get the main gist of it, that'll be good. Let's do that. That's good. Okay, we've got all the green there. Perfect. So now that we've got all that done, what we're going to do now is we are going to add a gradient map. So what you need to do next is go to your options, get a gradient map and click on here. So make sure you're not selected on the layer mask. Make sure you select on the gradient map, go to here. And what you are need to do is make your own gradient map. So I've got this one. So I've gone from a black to a mid yellow. So the yellow is FFB 400 and then I've gone for a really light white so ffbef so that's the gradient map i made for this because i felt that it, it looked the best on here so basically you want to do that now we're going to hold shift and we're just going to drop that one on top right so now we have our nice little layer mask now as you can see this does look a little bit you know 
dark so you can obviously increase increase the light of it here and then you're good so that's all the yellow done now the next thing we need to move on to guys is obviously the um the pit the bits of the kit that are going to be put on top so for this you're obviously going to need to go find an image of a jersey which you can sort of take bits from and add to this one which will look fairly similar so if i go back to the texture pack i've already got one here for you um i chose this image so as you can see similar pose obviously the kit positions are similar so uh, i took most of my stuff from this so if i turn all that off so this is i just left this in there so you can practice if you want to cut bits out yourself so you're just going to use a pen tool, cut strips out. So I've got them all here already. So they're all in here. Now you can take bits. Now this number is obviously a bit bigger than I would have liked. I took it from another image, uh, which I haven't included because there's, there's not really much point because obviously same process, just different um, ways of added them in. Let's take the left arm first. So we're going to take this and we're going to plop it in here. And now what you want to do is convert this to a smart object. So convert that to a smart object. Now we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is position it where we think it's meant to be on the arm. And we're going to go in, sort of have a look, see, you know, what's going on. That's pretty good. And once you've got it in position, what you're going to need to do now is go to edit and then puppet warp. So if any of you have watched my previous video on the uh, kit swap that I did, you'll find this tool pretty familiar. So if you haven't, I do suggest you go watch that because there is a lot of necessary tips um, in the first video that will help you in this video so link down below anyway so now that we've positioned this sort of you know similar to what it would be on the uh, other kit we've uh, got a nice little line here we can click OK now as you can see it's, it, it fits the kit now so what we're gonna do is get a layer mask a hard brush then we're just gonna cut off the edge so let's go to where it would be so like there that's good and click OK and same again on the top just want to take the top off and then we zoom out there you go, it's as if it was already on the kit, isn't it? Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same with these. Um, and all the assets are already there for you, so I'm going to take the right arm now. And try and get try and get these the right the same size. So when you do put them on, they are like similar width. Because obviously, you want them to look like they're from the same kit. And uh, if you make them too small, it just won't look right. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, make this one a little bit thinner. There we go. I'll make it a little bit thicker, actually, because you want it to cover the white as well. So same principle. This one's a little bit longer, um, but we're going to go to Puppet Warp. Uh, clip that there, there, and there. So this one's pretty much already done for me. Now, there are going to be bits where the white are over, uh, is coming over the top, but what we're just going to do is we're going to position it like this. It's looking great already, isn't it? Fair play. I literally did this the other day for my first time, so I thought... Why not show it, you guys? So at the moment, it's looking really good. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments, especially if it's helping you, because obviously that's the main aim. Let's just do that. Make sure it covers the edge here, like that. And we're just going to get rid of that little edge there. Now, if we zoom out, perfect. Looks like it's stuck on. Now, obviously, it does look a bit weird that it doesn't go off to the edge, but if I go to the previous image, um, you can see that it doesn't actually go off the edge on their kit so that's the only reason I've left it like that um, and now last one we're gonna need to do for the actual kit is the neck so let's go and do this one now this one's probably the hardest one to do um, just because of the purpose it's just quite fiddly and you want to make it the right width and everything so I've got it about there I would have said that's pretty good and now what we're gonna do this is where the puppet warp really will help so if we go into puppet warp let's get the corners Get the main bits pinned in, which you think are actually in a good position at the moment. And then this will help a, a lot. Um, let's just bring this down a little bit. This really will help, trust me. Um, bring that up a little bit. Same here. Same here. Same there. Now, as you can see right now, there's a lot of bits of white. Now, there are going to be bits of white just because obviously this kit isn't perfect for the Giannis one but what we can do is we can clip that that's okay for now we're going to layer mask out the little bits that we don't want so let's just do that now get rid of that get rid of that corner there that's good get rid of there okay so what we can do now is we can go into filter oh, select your actual neck go to filter and then liquefy so once you go into liquefy you'll be able to move bits around so as you can see if we go over this now we can just move it up a little bit 
So now, as you can see, it covers that white. So that's really good. Um, it's a handy tool to learn. Now it's going to be just with a finger pointer tool, so you make it quite big and then just pull it along. And if you click OK, that's all done. Now, yes, it looks a little bit blurry, but you don't need to worry about the blur. Um, we're going to be using a camera filter, which will sharpen it up anyway, so don't worry about that. Uh, that's that. And now we're going to take the two wish and ticks, drop these in. It's going to be fairly big, so you can make them a little bit smaller, a bit more small. There we go. That's good. So the tick is pretty much already in place. You don't really need to worry about that. Um, the wish, you could probably move it around there. And then what we're going to do is double click, go to blending options, and then we're just going to... I think it was the white one that I moved. Is it the white one? That one. Okay, so the top white one, you're just going to move it along. And it's just going to get rid of that yellow, and then there you go. you got your wish on the, sh on the jersey. So that's good. Um, that's all done. Now the next thing we need to do is add the logo in, obviously. So basically, guys, it's just a step-by-step -step process. You build it up, you get your assets, and then you drop them in. So do this one. Let's drag and drop this one in. And once again, let's just reduce the size of that. That's good. There we go. That's placed on top. And in a minute, you'll see what I'm going to do. We're going to add some shadows to this just to make it look like it's on the actual design. Otherwise, it's just going to look like I've stuck it on the top, which is not what we want, really. Um, there we go. That's good. Probably can make this a little bit smaller. Don't want it too big. But that's 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 a reasonable size. And uh, there we go, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select these uh, Lakers and a 39. We're going to clip a mask in new layer above above both of them. Get a soft brush. Um, get a soft brush, yeah. Let's go down here get a soft brush. Uh, and reduce the opacity to about 20. Get a black color. And what we're going to do is go in. Now, what you, this is going to be important now, guys. So you need to look where the shadows are on the top. And then we're just going to follow them over and start just drawing on top. So maybe about 10% opacity would be good. Um, and then we're just going to start drawing our shadows on top. And this will uh, actually make it look like it's stuck. Now, you don't need to be too harsh with this. I don't know, probably about tw maybe 17. Yeah, that's good. We'll give you enough of a uh, shadow so you can just make something happen. And there we go. Let's just give it a little shadow around there. That's good. Now again, this will all be... So if I just turn this on and off, you can already see that it, it does make it look stuck on. So, we've got that. And now we're going to do the same with the 39. But obviously, guys, as you can see, if I didn't add these in, it would just look like I've stuck it all together, which is what I have done. Um, but this would just gives it a little bit of extra depth. So we can just do this just to make it look a bit more real. Obviously, if anybody did ask you to do this professionally, you'd want to know all the best tips, wouldn't you? So as long as I go through them all here, you should be all right. Um, let's just do that there. Let's make a nice little crease there. So you can sort of paint your own ones in as well. And then especially this one here. That's good. There we go. Now, as you can see, if I go through that. Oh, no, don't want to make that too dark. But if I can turn that on and off, there you go. We've already given it a bit of depth. So that's perfect. Now, guys, as you can see, I have got a little bit of yellow going along here. I don't know why. Probably because it's not clipped. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Let's just clip and mask both of those to the kit. There we go. So there's no yellow overlying on the white background. And that's pretty much it, guys. So we've got the kit swap all done. Um, now, you've got this tick here. We can sort of nah, add another purple one here. So if we just go Command-T, move this down here a little bit. What we're going to do is just going to have to, again, sort of warp it in to place. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. So somewhere about there is good, probably. Now what we are going to do is just get a layer mask and a brush. And we're just going to turn the opacity up, get a hard brush. And then we can just paint that over the top. Now, obviously... That doesn't look amazingly perfect. Obviously, it doesn't look perfect, but it, it, it's under the finger. You can't really see it. Once I've done everything else, it won't really matter too much. So basically, guys, that's going to be it for the actual kit swap. Now I'm going to show you how I did the background. So obviously, it's pretty quick, but obviously, you need to make sure that everything is in place and looks perfect. Like, just use another image as a reference, like I did, like the LeBron one. Then you've got a reference so you can base it off. That's all that done. What we're going to do is convert this to a smart object now. And there we go. Oh. No, I did not select everything. Select everything. Convert this to a smart object. There we go. 
um, and now we've got him in and now what we're going to need to do is add some color effects over him so as well we're going to get the background so you can turn the kit assets off we're going to get this background that I have of LeBron and AD drop this in and what we're going to do is increase the size of this so they're probably going to be running like that that looks good could make it a little bit bigger just so they're just in frame put this behind him and now what I did was I added a Gaussian blur to this so about 8.2 blur that's perfect that's all you need really um, and then what I did was add some color effects to this guy so let's do that so you want to add a new layer and then you're gonna to go to edit fill 50% gray click OK and just overlay this on top of him and then we're gonna do some burn and dodge tool so obviously you've seen this in previous videos that I've been doing now so what you need to do is just go in to the little areas and just get your shadows coming up so obviously you want to do it on the main shadows, especially on the bit where you've at, like stuck bits on, I would say. Because these are going to be obviously high areas of um, concentration when people are actually looking at it. So it's definitely something you want to pick up. Shorts here, definitely. You can make this bit a little bit darker. Um, here a little bit darker. There we go. So don't go too OTT on this because obviously... The burn is bringing out a bit of orange in the kit, so you don't want to go too over the top on it. But I suggest going around the shadows where the uh, bits you've stuck on are. Like that. That's good. So, we've got that. Now we're going to do the highlights. Now again, this can be a similar situation, but this time I'm going to go around his arms, like this. Um, because at the top of the design, I'm going to add in a nice little um, bit of light coming down on him. So, that'll look good. Let's just do that. Coming down his face. There we go. Perfect. There you go. So it looks like he's glowing a bit. Let's go add a bit of highlights on the Lakers bit and the number just to make it glow a little bit more. That's good. Um, now we're going to do some curves adjustments on his eyes. So if we go curves, clip and mask that to him, brighten this up, then go Command I to invert the mask. We're going to go into where his eyes are to get a solid brush. Probably going to have to be fairly small. And then we're just going to go across and lighten his eyes up a little bit like that. So again, that is going to make the design look just even better. So you can do the same with his teeth if you want, but it's not obviously necessary. If I zoom out now, he looks like he's glowing a little bit better, so that's good. Um, we've got all that done. Now I think that's pretty much it, guys. So you can do probably a color balance on the whole thing. Just reduce some of the blues. Increase maybe the dark blues in it a little bit. Go to the shadows. Do the same again. That looks good. So if I turn that on and off, yeah, it just takes a bit of the harshness out of it. So that's good. Um, the only thing we need to do now is add a bit of light at the top. So if I go to the design, let's add a new layer. Get a big soft brush. Make it really big. So really big, really big. And then we're going to go for a big white color. No, not black. That's really not a light color, is it? Let's do that. Can add a nice little bit of light above him. Always remember to name your layers. I know I don't. I'm terrible with naming my layers, so d don't worry about that. But make sure you do because it'll just help you a lot in the future. So let's go to about 80. That's good. And I think we're pretty much done, guys. So what we can do now is we can go into the camera or filter and sort of just do a bit of extra stuff on him. Because um, I know this video has been going on for a long time anyway, so let's get straight into that. So Command Shift Option E to make a screenshot. And then we're going to go to Filter, Camera or Filter. And this is where we're going to sort of make it all look like it's one image so already the shadows look good so what we're going to do is increase the yellows a little bit increase the exposure contrast we want to bring up as well highlights down shadows up whites down blacks up texture you want to bring that out clarity as well i uh, recommend that let's do that dehaze a little bit maybe vibrant you can probably bring down saturation up a little bit that's good. Now, as you can see, we've got a little bit of blue coming through, so you might want to just get rid of that um, for now. So that's really nice. Sharpening, definitely sharpen the image up. That, again, will make it look a lot better. Let's go for a bit of noise reduction and color noise as well. That's good. Um, color grading. So this is where the blue is. Where's the blue in the design? Should we see if we can get rid of a little bit of it? I think it's the blue. Hmm. Wow. Anyway, don't worry about that blue. I don't really know what's there. It's probably the color balance that I added in. But anyway, the uh, actual design is looking good. So don't worry about that. Let's add a, some color grading over the top of this. Let's move that one down a little bit. No, we don't want it that harsh. 
And that's probably good. Yeah, that's good. A nice and warm image. I'm going to add a little bit of grain and maybe a little dark vignette on it. So that's good. I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, that is. So we've got all that in. Maybe a little bit more exposure. That's good. I mean, go to calibration, reduce the blues a little bit, increase the reds a little bit. Then click a before and after and there you go guys so basically guys that is it for this video you can see how we've made the kit swap obviously it looks fairly realistic obviously it's not going to look perfect because you know these designs aren't meant to look real well they're meant to look as real as you can get them but they're not going to look amazingly perfect because obviously it's not meant to be perfect because he's not in the actual kit but for what we've worked with there i'm pretty happy with that result you know if we click ok that looks really nice and fairly realistic if i'm honest um so i'm quite happy with it hopefully you guys are happy with what you've done obviously let me know in the comments what how you found the video and everything if you enjoyed it um and let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future but thank you so much for watching guys let me know if you want to see another jersey swap or a kit swap in the future and i'll see you in the next video